Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be going over how to create volume profiles using daily data for essentially any stock. If you have access to intraday data, I would recommend you use that data set to get more precise values. But I just wanted to make a reproducible example and therefore we will be using daily data. So we're gonna start off by reading in some packages. I'm gonna assign my ticker in line three. We're gonna run that and get some data from Yahoo Finance. I'm gonna round the prices to two decimal places and we're gonna begin with our calculations. The first thing I'll do is find the range by passing in the high column and the low column. So we're gonna run line seven. Now that we have our range, we need to create buckets at $5 intervals. Essentially, you could change this number to any value, but in this example, I'll be using $5 intervals. After we find the range, we need to round those values to the nearest $5. For the low value, I'll be using floor to round down and I'm gonna use ceiling to round up my high value. After we round our values, we need to create a sequence from low to high by the dollar interval. So if we run that block, and if we take a look at our console, we should now see the sequence in $5 intervals. Now that we have the sequence, I'm gonna aggregate the volume between these values. So for instance, for the first two values, I will be looking at when Apple was trading between 50 and 55, and I will be returning the total volume between these two values. So I'll do that for all of these values. And here back in our script, I'll do so by using this function. So I need to pass in the sequence and the stock data. So for the length of my sequence, I'm gonna subset the stock between my buckets, return the data as a data frame, format the column names and return the results. All right, so if we minimize this function and we'll go ahead and run it, we're gonna create our volume profile. Now, if we take a look at that data frame, now we have the total volume between these values or buckets. And for the first row, this is the total volume for Apple when the stock was greater than 50, but less than 55. Let's go ahead and plot this against the stock data. So here back in our script, I'm gonna use ggplot, pass in the volume profile. I'll use the volume for my X values and the less than column for my Y values. And since I have an XDS object, I need to convert that as a data frame. So here in line 35, I convert my core data for the close values in my stock data and add a column for the dates reformat the column name and I'm gonna use geom line to plot the stock closes now that we have assigned our volume profile plot and our stock plot I'm gonna combine them into a single grid by using cowplot let's go ahead and run this block and we'll take a look at the chart all right, so we have our volume profile here on the left hand side and our stock closes on the right hand side and we can now visually see the levels of interest at each level. All right guys, well this concludes the video. As I mentioned, you can use your intraday data and change the bucket size by using this script. I'll leave a link down in the description area to my Patreon where you can find the code. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.